a defiant departure from East Timor of the last elements of the once powerful Indonesian army. A moment many thought would never come. These troops had occupied Dili for 24 years. Their farewell closed a controversial chapter of history. Thousands of lives have been lost since the 1975 bloody invasion of the former Portuguese colony. But despite widespread anger, the troops were given a respectful send-off. Perhaps the most symbolic act to illustrate the fall of a mighty army. The Indonesian flag was lowered at the barracks for the last time, a final curtain on Indonesia's control of East Timor. A UN transition team formally assumed control of the Timorese capital earlier this week. At Dili's airfield, East Timor's top rebel leader, widely known as Zalana, initiated a remarkable farewell gesture. Shaking the hand of the enemy he'd been locked in battle with for years, the guerrilla chieftain told reporters the Indonesian occupation had been a mistake between two countries. Some Indonesian soldiers seemed content to leave. Are you sad to leave? No. No sad. No comment yet. Not sad? Yeah. yeah. Okay, thank you. Cemeteries mark the graves of close to 5,000 Indonesian soldiers who fell here. Barely a fraction of the 200,000 East Timorese also killed in the fight for independence. The man widely predicted to become East Timor's first president assured those scarred by years of death and uncertainty that things would improve. Zanana told this woman, you don't have to cry again. We've won. Don't cry.